Hi guys, we're back. Guy on the Streets, week two. And this week, we are trying to find out what you guys are giving up for living. Today, we're swinging in. Claire from eighth grade. And Claire, what are you giving up for Lent this year? I'm giving up soda. Ooh, soda, that's a good one, that's a good one. See, I feel like we're gonna see that a lot today along with the candies and the sweets. And in reality, those are the more basic ones. We are looking for the more extravagant ones. Next up, we're interviewing Layla from third grade. Layla, what are you giving up for Lent this year? Soda. Soda? Twice. Two for soda. What about you? What are you giving up for Lent this year? Candy. Candy, man, we've heard a lot of that. Grant, what are you giving up? Oh, uh, warm showers. Warm showers? I'm doing that too! Among other things, but I am doing cold showers for Lent. Me and my fraternity squad are doing that. And now we're heading up to the field. Let's see who's up here. You never know who could be up on the field. Bye. And today nobody is up on the field, so I'm gonna interview Lagan. Lagan? Yeah. What are you giving up for Lent this year? I am giving up candy. Basic. <laughs> Next up, we're interviewing Lucas from I don't know his grade. Lucas! What are you giving up for Lent this year? What are you giving up for Lent this chocolate. year? Chocolate. Chocolate? That's a good one. I love chocolate. What is your favorite kind of chocolate? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. See, you usually see those from like the old people, like Mr. Swisher. And speaking of old people, next up we're interviewing Joseph Swisher. Swisher! <laughs> what are you giving up for Lent this year? What are you... <laughs> What are you giving up for Lent I, this year? I gave up interacting with you, but here you are. <laughs> the devil himself in person. There you go. Me, me. Temptation All right, Hunter. Next up, we're interviewing two teachers. Sister Sharon Rose, what are you giving up for Lent this year? I'm giving up all things sweet. Oh, see, we've heard that a lot from the kids, too, so it's good to see we've got some support from the adults as well. We're go. watching the Sam Sam. What are you giving up? So I am giving up all sweets, but I'm also going to add in doing a uh, some sort of different prayer every night. Uh-huh, see, I'm doing a good thing as well, but mine is daily scripture. That's good. That's what we look for. Going double. All right, Sam. <laughs> Sam? Yes. What are you giving up for Lent this year? Um, every single drink is set for water. Every drink. Very healthy, very healthy lifestyle. We like the healthy lifestyle. We've heard that a lot because, you know, at St. Joseph, we're always staying fit. We've got some fun runs coming up. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm doing that, too, with my fraternity squad. All right. Next up, we're interviewing Philip Hopper. And ironically, Philip, for some reason, is in the same exact spot as last time, with the same exact hairstyle as last time, looking the same exact way. Very handsome. Philip, what are you giving up a lamp? Um, it's changed a little bit, but I'm doing cold showers. Me too. Eating less sugar, uh, less snacks. Um, I'm trying to exercise a little bit. Good. Isaac, we have to know. What are you giving up a lamp this year? Um, I'm doing cold showers. I'm and, doing that too. And I'm um, giving up in between snacks in between meals. Oh, no, oh very cold. smart. Fasting, we encourage that lifestyle again. The healthy lifestyle is always good. All right. Since Smitty ruined her interview last time by running in, you can see that video on our YouTube channel. We're re interviewing Caroline. Caroline, what are you giving up for Lent? Well, I'm. I'm not annoying my brother as much as, like, the few years. So, yeah. And I also call my brother in France more. Oh, sorry. Did you know Lagan has a crush on your brother? Uh, she did. She told me she did. Yeah. Great. Ava, what are you going for Lent? I'm actually taking something on and I'm becoming a vegetarian. That's awesome. As you can tell, we've had all these healthy lifestyle ones. I'm not doing anything of that sort because I'm eating right now on the job. All right. Next up, we're interviewing Mr. Zimmerman. He's currently running away from us, so we're having to chase him down. He's the director of faith formation here at St. Joseph, so we have to get his interview. What are you giving up for Lent? Um, um, I'm giving up um, being on camera. So next up, we're interviewing one of the four-year-olds at St. Joseph, James. So James, what is Lent? I am not four anymore. Oh, sorry, he's five. <laughs> what are you giving up for Lent? Or what, what is Lent? Uh, like when you went on the season when it was 
purple season. That's right, and it's the season of preparation, right? Yes, and, and we're preparing for Jesus to die. That's right, we're preparing for Jesus to die. Hi, Ava Grace. Ava Grace, can you tell me what Lent is? Oh. Okay. Thank you, Pre-K. Thank you, James. Next up, we're interviewing Benjamin from fifth grade. We caught him coming out of the cafeteria. Benjamin, what are you giving up for Lent? Uh, everything except my Oculus. Everything oh, except wait. his Oculus. That's I mean, pretty all good. My screens except my all my screens. Screen time is always good to give up. Very unhealthy. Thank you, Benjamin. Wait. Nico from fifth grade. Nico, what what are you giving up for Lent? Um, uh, hamburgers. Hamburgers. That's a, that's a new one, that's a new one. Next up, we're interviewing Cecilia from 6th grade. Cecilia recently just placed very, very well at the forensic tournament. Thank you. Cecilia, what are you getting up for Lent? My mom forced me to give up making fun of people who are below the national average height. That's a good one. I'm pretty sure yeah. you're below the national average height, but that's I okay. That's okay. <laughs> this has been Guy on the Streets. Please oh. like and subscribe our YouTube channel oh to see more I'm Guy not. on the Streets no. and more me and not Cecilia. Thank you so much. Peace out.